Good morning, dear. Can you hear me, please, students? Are you here? And now, the lecture of our lecture today is, uh, we have, uh, today we have to also two diseases. The first one, which is the blastomycosis. Blastomycosis, one of the most important diseases, uh, which is referred to as also North American blastomycosis. Why it's referred to as North American blastomycosis? Because it is endemic in North uh, America and particularly in Chicago. Therefore, it's also referred to as Chicago's disease. What is the definition of the disease? Yes, of course, blastomycosis, because from the name, blastomycosis, it's caused by the causative agent one, just only one causative agent responsible for the disease, refer, referred to as blastomyces dermatitis, dermatitis. Therefore, the name of the disease, blastomycosis, blastomyces dermatitis, just only one causative agent. What are the most important organs that may be prone to, to um, uh, uh, colonize by the agents? Mainly the lung, okay? That means pulmonary blastomycosis is a major disease, okay? We have acute, we have mild sometimes, depends on the symptoms, of course. Sometimes the acute phase resolves uh, without treatment. This is just definition, if you remember. Uh, the uh, skin also may be involved, bones, uh, gut also, any, any part of the body just look like the previous fungal diseases may be involved, in particular when the disease, I, I mean the causative agent, disseminated hematogenously. We we'll turn to the third um, uh, slide, which is um, interested with the clinical manifestations. You remember I said the most important organ or the first organ that be targeted by the uh, spores of uh, blastomyces is the lung. Put in your mind, blastomyces is dimorphic also. Dimorphic, that means it has two forms. These forms is to form in the body, inside the body, and multiform outside the body, okay? The first disease is pulmonary blastomycosis. Of course, the lung is the most common site for colonization. And uh, mainly it's found in uh, autopsy, uh, those in particular with um, indolent infection. Indolent infection, we cannot know the disease caused by blastomyces. They died suddenly without um, uh, uh, severe symptoms and it can be found uh, at autopsy. But some patients, of course, develop acute phase. What we can see in chest X-ray, of course, we can see single, sometimes single, sometimes multiple nodular patches. <coughs> single or multiple depends, of course, on the uh, immune status of the disease uh, of the patient. Sorry, single or sometimes multiple nodular patches. In case of acute phase, sometimes improvement may be occurred without the treatment within two to twelve, up to twelve weeks of the onset of the symptoms. Some patients with acute phase, not cured, okay, still suffering from the symptoms, but the disease, I mean, the, 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 the agents can be disseminated extra pulmonary, okay, and causing extra pulmonary symptoms, sometimes causing chronic respiratory symptoms, okay. Symptoms may appear sometimes, of course, before diagnosis. What are these symptoms the patient develop? Of course, cough, just look like other uh, um, uh, pulmonary manifestations, cough, wet loss, chest pain, skin lesions, fever, hemoptysis, the colite swelling, which is look like uh, symptoms of TB mainly. Okay. This uh, uh, chest x-ray, as you see here, this uh, uh, area of patchy infiltrates, patchy nodules, as uh, mentioned here in the auto. Now, the other disease, or the, sorry, thing, a second disease may be caused by um, blastomyces is cutaneous manifestations. That means blastomyces have the ability to develop cutaneous um, uh, symptoms. Of course, the main size of them um, uh, uh, that, that expose uh, to the, the, the agent causing the symptoms are, of course, the face, sometimes face, extremities, neck, and the skull. Uh, any part also may be involved, okay? Here we have three possibilities of cutaneous blastomycosis. Three, this is very important. We have three possibilities of cutaneous blastomycosis. Perhaps Maoni, if there is, if there is anybody here or not. Mm -hmm. Actually, okay. 
we have three possibilities of developing uh, cutaneous blastomycosis. The first one, which is comes from active infection, just look like the other previous, if you remember mycetoma, for example, okay? Sport recoses patients or individual exposed to trauma, to any, any, any source of uh, uh, traumatic um, uh, uh, tools, whatever, and this tool may be uh, contaminated or the contamination later on will occur, okay? The agent, I mean the spores of the fungi, can enter the lesion and contaminate it by causing the cutaneous symptoms. This is first, this is referred to as active cutaneous blastomycosis. The second, second possibility of developing cutaneous blastomycosis it's hematogenous inseeding. You remember from the previous, for example, candidiasis, if you remember, uh, cryptococcus, from the blood, okay, when it, the microorganism go to the bloodstream, can easily incide any organ from uh, within these um, organs, the skin, of course, causing the cutaneous uh, blastomycosis. This is second uh, possibility. The third possibility. Also, we have, of course, put in your mind hematogenous inseeding. I mean, the second possibility B, hematogenous inseeding, of course, comes. Uh, 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 it can uh, inseed any part uh, from the skin. Uh, in the skin, uh, uh, sorry, face, extremities, yeah, multiple lesion we can see. But the third possibility, also hematog hematogenous inseeding, but inseed only the previous trauma. What's the meaning of this? An individual have trauma, okay, previous trauma. This trauma is severe and deep, okay, but this is healed. This trauma healed, okay, but not contaminated with any agent, okay. But in the same time, the patients have blastomycosis um, later on, okay, uh, uh, acquire the, 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 the agent and causing this agent, depending on the immune status of the patient, uh, causing um, a hematogenous inseeding or a hematogenous dissemina dissemination. Okay. This agent, when it's disseminated in the bloodstream, go just to the site of the previous trauma. Inseed the previous trauma that it, it completely healed, okay? Not disseminated on the uh, different part of the, uh, the skin. This is, these are the possibilities of um, uh, uh, causing cutaneous blastomycosis. Here, uh, some, there, is, there are some differences between uh, cutaneous, I mean active cutaneous blastomycosis and hematogenous um, uh, cutaneous blastomycosis. In case of uh, active cutaneous blastomycosis, I mean active, uh, if you remember, as you, uh, you remember, I said when it comes from active um, traumatic um, inoculation. After one five weeks of, um, uh, one to five weeks uh, of the uh, exposure to the injury, the symptoms will appear, okay, and the, this, um, the lesion uh, appear as nodule, small nodule, tender nodule, reddish in color or purple, purplish, okay. This is inoculated one, but in case of course of hematogenous um, uh, cutaneous blastomycosis, this is not need a um, period of time depending on the inseeding. And the, 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 the um, a lesion mainly indolent, okay, and that's mean it's an, uh, asymptomatic. And well circumscribed, um, well circumscribed erythematous nodules, which is not tender or very, very slightly tender. In contrary to the cutaneous, which is tender, tenderness, there is tenderness, reddish, inflammation. Here, because it's indolent, okay, in hematogenous uh, cutaneous blastomycosis, is not tender and it is uh, well circumscribed. Here, the papule, of course, if it is not treated, it is enlarged within the time. We have here uh, two types of um, uh, lesions, of course, starting with the nodules. It starts as nodule. Then it's turned either verrucosal, okay, verrucous, which is, the, if you remember, verrucous gynepsoiluri, verrucous type, or ulcerated type. The nodules uh, either turn to, within the time, of course, to verrucous type or ulcerated type. This is need a long period of time, months, sometimes even years. Within this, <coughs> sorry, within this long period of time, months, years, if it's not treated, there is central healing will be occurred with fibrosis, of course, okay, fibrosis, and sometimes involvement of subcutaneous abscesses, okay. This picture, 
sorry this picture sorry this picture as you see here here we can see different types of lesion what did you suspect which type of uh, three as if you remember the previous slide three possibilities you said active cutaneous blastomycosis hematogenous uh, blastomycosis and hematogenous uh, dissemination of the just inceding the traumatic which type of one of these uh, if you if you um, can uh, suspect so i'll income to lab nobody here to lab okay as usual um this uh this lesion you, you can see this is disseminated type this 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 is disseminated type okay because it's you see different part of the body now uh this is this is another type of cutaneous blastomycosis which it's ulcerative type this is ulcerative type and for nobody anyhow uh, this is also another type of uh, disseminate uh, of uh, sorry cutaneous um, uh, ulcerative type. This is another type of course. This is ulcerative and verrucous in the same time. Verrucous and ulcerative, both of them. Okay. Now we turn to the third type of blastomycosis, which is the osteoarticular blastomycosis. Approximately 14 to 60 percent. 60, 14, sorry, to 60 percent. It's not some, it's a huge uh, uh, percentage, okay, number. That's 14 to 60 percent of all cases of hematogenous dissemination may be developed osteoarticular. That means from the blood, maybe in seed, uh, other organs, from these organs, the, 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 the bones and the joints, vertebrae, skull, uh, ribs, the still half of the extremities, okay. In your radiography, what we can see, <coughs> sorry. In your radiography, we can see osteolytic lesion, of course, osteolytic lesion, not like uh, eaten like a lesion. The abscesses also may be occurred in the adjacent soft tissues. Of course, when there is uh, infection of the uh, bones, that may be disseminated to the adjacent soft tissues causing abscesses, which is spread, of course, to the contagious joints, causing arthritis, okay, causing arthritis. Uh, the arthritis mainly uh, due to um, arthritis of blastomyces uh, mainly common uh, and uh, it causes of course swelling, pain, limitation of movements, uh, particularly of the large joints represented by, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> represented by elbow, knee and uh, or uh, ankle, any, any, any joints may be involved. We turn to the fourth type of, gen uh, of the blastomycosis. <coughs> sorry, which it comes from also hematogenous dissemination, the genet genital urinary tract infection. Of course, here the source of infection mainly is the prostate, epididymis, or kidneys. Of course, this is in male. Uh, the, uh, 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 in case of patients suffering from prostatitis due to blastomyces, what the uh, symptoms the patient develop, of course, difficulty in nutrition and dysuria. In case of epididymitis, sorry, the patient suffering from scrotal swelling, uh, of course, the, the infection may be um, uh, reach the testicles, of course, along this spermatic cord. But in case of females, the endometrial uh, blastomycosis is so rare in comparison to the infection of the genital tract uh, of males. <coughs> The fifth type of um, uh, blastomycosis is CNS infection. Okay, approximately three to ten percent of patients with disseminated uh, hematogenous disseminated blastomycosis may be caused meningitis. The symptoms involve meningitis, brain abscesses, spinal epidural lesions, cranial epidural, epidural lesions. Any any part of the <coughs> CNS may be involved. <coughs> Of course, meningitis mainly indolent here. Okay, indolent uh, just uh, uh, looks like the other um, uh, uh, hematogenous um, cutaneous blastomycosis or other uh, types of fungal um, uh, meningitis. It's mainly indolent and progressed. The lesion progressed within weeks, sometimes within months. Okay, because meningitis occur in the late um, sequel of the events. Of course. The, uh, the mortality rate here is high because it's the late sequel, okay? You, uh, imagine um, different uh, complications of the patients may be suffering from without the treatment. 
that the, the, the agent may reach the meninges and the brain causing meningitis and maybe he died. Here we can see abscesses sometimes in the uh, sometimes in the brain we can see abscesses sometimes granuloma it depends on the case of the patients. Uh, if, uh, uh, of course, uh, either in the uh, spinal cord or in the or in the brain. If it is occurred in the brain, they so the the abscesses or granuloma are multiple, while the uh, the, the the abscesses or granuloma in the spinal cord mainly solitary. Solitary that means you know, scattered nuclei. Of course, the other uh, odors may be involved due to the uh, um, uh, uh, dissemination uh, uh, through blood, okay, to the lymph nodes, maybe causing adrenal lesions also or intraocular lesions. Okay, uh, this is uh, suspected because it's disseminated to the, uh, through blood. This is, you can see also, even mucous membrane can be, uh, can be involved. This lesion, I mean, the uh, heart palliative patient suffering from uh, uh, cutaneous blastomycosis, or this is cutaneous blastomycosis. This is another case, uh, patient. Uh, here, how we can differentiate uh, blastomycosis in each entity uh, from other uh, diseases, of course. Uh, um, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, here, um, uh, the, the, in case of um, cutaneous blastomycosis, it resembles uh, cell, uh, cell cell carcinoma of skin, cutaneous cell car uh, carcinoma, or uh, maybe in the uh, uh, also uh, pulmonary blastomycosis, maybe also re uh, resemble carcinoma of the lung, or sometimes even in larynx. Okay, sometimes um, uh, confusion comes from the appearance of uh, skin lesion or uh, laryngeal lesions. Okay, in lung. Uh, chest x-rays, abnormalities, no fever, leukocytosis, uh, and it's on, in the lung. These are the, the mimicry between uh, blastomycosis of lung, skin, larynx. This is come uh, lead, uh, orient the clinician confused uh, because the, the, the mimicry of uh, carcinoma of uh, uh, skin, lung, and larynx with the um, uh, cutaneous and pulmonary or larynx uh, blastomycosis. The region also may be mistaken with TB. If you remember, I said the symptoms, if you remember the, the symptoms of pulmonary that I mentioned in the, in the uh, first slides, I said it can be mistaken with TB. Sometimes uh, if it is in fact the genital tract may be mistaken with syphilis also. Can, concerning therapy, how we can treat blastomycosis, of course, oral ketoconazole, sometimes etraconazole, of course, etraconazole is the more efficient than um, uh, the ketoconazole, uh, but put in your mind that etraconazole, it is um, a generation of uh, ketoconazole, but it is uh, less toxic and more effective than the previous one. Also, there is another regimen of treatment, which is combination of amphotericin B with uh, two hydroxy uh, hydroxystibamidine. <clears throat> Why there is com um, com combination occurred? Of course, which, uh, you know that uh, amphotericin B is toxic, but it is effective. When we mix to, 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 uh, to decrease the toxicity of amphotericin B, it should be uh, mixed with other drugs, which is the 2 hydroxy tibamidine. It's uh, less toxic and less effective, uh, which is uh, maybe compromised with the uh, activity of amphotericin B. Of course, amphotericin B is still the most uh, effective one. Is this still the drug of choice in refractory cases when it's reached up to t uh, 10 weeks? 10 weeks is so long period of time. Of course, depends on the severity, uh, particularly in hematogenous simulation. How we can diagnose blastomycosis? <coughs> صوتنا لا صوتي لا صوتكم صوت الدكتورة كان ماكو قبل شوية والرابط أصلاً ما نازل على الكلاس فهوايا ما قدروا يدخلوا لها توضح الممثل ودي أنا مو قلت لكم صار نش قد رجع الرابط من نش قد تذكرون لو لا كاتبت لكم إنسمنت على الكلاس روم رجعوا لنا إياه كان نفعل وكنا نسوي لكم روابط صح لو لا يعني هسه كل محاضرة نفس الشيء كلكم كلكم على the same الرابط نفسه اللي أنا استديت لكم يا بالمحاضرة السابقة السبت الفات تذكرون كتبت لكم ناوس ما أنت إذا شفتوها يعني هاي مو مشكلتنا ما ما إحنا خل مو كل أسبوع نذكركم موجود السلام هي هي دائما تنزل روابط فهالمرة ما نزلت 
مين دكتور؟ صار لنا ماكو هسه وضح الدك... وضح الممثل قبل شوي اي بس هاي شو ليش توضحت انتم صار لها قد من 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 دزه دكتور فادي منبهكم انا سويت لكم اناونسمنت يعني من الاسبوع الفات يوم الجمعه بالضبط سويت لكم اناونسمنت قلت لكم محاضره السبت باكر اللي هذا مو السبت السبت الفات تكون على هذا الرابط اللي فعال اللي هو نفس الرابط مالكم هذا القديم هو الموجود على الكلاس روم اوكي لان قام يستوعب الطلاب لان البدايه كانوا ما دافعين فلوس الحكومه بس دفعوا وفعلوا من اللي ما تلقوه بشركة الجوجل فافتهمت وسا الشغلة؟ خير إن شاء الله تمام إن يلا خير إن شاء الله يا أوردي إن شاء الله سجلت وأنزل لكم إياها بس يعني يفضل فيس تو فيس يعني أني هاو هسا now concerning lab diagnosis here lab diagnosis um, uh, of course how we can diagnose um, uh, blastomycosis of course uh, uh, just um, uh, uh, the, the, uh, similar to the other uh, previous um, diagnostic methods for the other uh, fungi we have two methods of diagnosis um, direct and indirect of course if case uh, in case of uh, di uh, direct diagnosis the isolation of the causative agent from uh, of course depending on the symptoms of the disease that the patient suffering from case of lung uh, for example the pulse force uh, sorry uh, sputum in case of cutaneous pulse depend tissues biopsies any any part may, may be involved if you remember i said in the first slide i said uh, this microorganism is dimorphic that means it is yeast formed in the inside the body and it's moldy outside the body we can see yeast within the specimen yeast within the specimen of course here we can use <clears throat> Uh, weight mounting for cytological diagnosis, you know, we have uh, histo histopathological uh, diagnosis and cytological uh, diagnosis. In cytology, of course, we can uh, use hematoxylin uh, and EOC stain. In case of histopathological diagnosis, we can use Ginza stain. Of course, in, in case of direct culture, I mean, culture, we can cultivate it on Sabros agar, this abbreviation SA, it means Sabros agar, of course should be incorporated with antibiotic in order to inhibit the um, uh, growth of undesirable bacteria. The uh, incubation temperature that this microorganism preferred mainly ranging between 25 to up to 30 degrees centigrade, it's preferred uh, low temperature because why is low temperature? Mainly put in your mind that those microorganisms who colonize lung and cutaneous mainly prefer low temperature, mainly, okay? The uh, period of time <coughs> here ranging between three up to four weeks of, um, uh, uh, as a period of time, of course. Now, uh, this, these are different pictures of blastomaces. Uh, you can see it's a very nice picture, okay? This is the, uh, just look like capsule, surrounded by capsule. It's not a capsule, uh, it is a rigid wall, okay? And this is the microorganism. This is the yeast different yeast of blastomycin uh, as you see here this is yeast this is budding budding occurred of the yeast okay w w uh, which is um, mainly uh, detached from the um, mother this is another blastomyces this is very typical very nice blastomyces yeast within the tissue okay this is the, of course the characteristic feature of the microorganism this is the blastomyces outside the body that means the moldy form okay <clears throat> this is when we culture blastomyces in the culture, we can obtain this form. This is referred to as a lollipop conidia. Do, do you know the meaning of lollipop? Shinu lollipop. The laptop. Are you shinu lollipop? Yes, Doctor. Lollipop, the masasa. Masasa. It's delicious. Okay, the masasa. What is the lollipop? What is the lollipop? What is the lollipop? Lollipop is somewhat referred to as lollipop conidia. Blastomyces, this is the characteristic feature of the uh, blastomyces uh, in the culture, of course. I cover the blastomycosis, the most important information that you're interested in in the future, whatever, you, if, if you're interested with internal medicine or dermatology, according to this specialty in the future, inshallah, I hope it for, uh, for you. We turn to other important disease, which is very common disease. It's so common disease. It's referred to as aspergillosis. Aspergillosis. I mean, aspergill aspergillus. That is very common. I think you can manage to say this. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Aspergillosis. You hear about aspergillosis? Hola. Hola. 
شكرا وياك موجودين مو بدي اسالكم ماما بدي اسال حتى بالعربي اذا ما بتعرفي جوز بدي اسال بدي اقول لكم دو يو هير اباوت اسبرجلوسيس يس اور نو؟ نو دكتور اوكي عشتيتك اريد ريسبونس ترى ما جاوبتش ما ما سامع عنها شلون؟ لو سامعتش قلت لك شلون؟ ترى قلت لك شلون سامعتش قلنا لك شيء اي مو انتم اريد ريسبونس يعني يصير واحد بس يحكي لنفسه ونوت ريسبونس يا ثاني من اسالك سؤال جاوبني يس اور نو صح لو لا؟ تمام دكتور سكوت سكوت علامة الرضا يعني معناه ما يبي يسامع وهم هنا يعني هي اتكلي ماما ما يصير لازم تجاوبون اعتبروا نفسكم قاعة أه... <تصفيق> ونسألكم بس هي هاي مشكلة الانتر اكشن أه... للاسف يعني ديسابيرد وهاي طبعا مو من صالح الطالب اني هاو الله كريم ان شاء الله وي هوب ذا ذا كونديشن ويل بي بيتر اون ريتيرن اجين تو ذا هول اوف لكشرز اني هاو ذا اسبرجلوسيس از فيري كومن ديزيز اوكي Aspergillosis. What is the meaning of aspergillosis? This is definition. It is any disease caused by aspergillus. Of course, from the name aspergillosis, that means the causative agent as aspergillus. Any disease caused by aspergillus rather than mycotoxicosis. What's the meaning of this sentence? Okay. Aspergillus is very common disease. Okay. We have the so we allergy. Why patients get allergy from aspergillus? Okay. This pores mold available here and there, wherever. It's airborne, Conidia. Air, it is mold, of course. This is not dimorphic. It is monomorphic. It's only, uh, it's only uh, moldy. It's not yeast and mold, okay? Just moldy plant. Here it is um, the Conidia available here and there. Many patients suffering from allergy from uh, aspergillus because it's available. Hatta in Iraq, it's there are many, um, it's uh, available and there are many diseases caused by this agent, okay? <clears throat> What's the meaning of this sentence when I said any disease caused by this agent rather than mycotoxicosis? Aspergillus have the ability to develop aspergillosis. Aspergillosis as diseases, you know, okay? Name of the causative agent causing the disease, aspergillosis. But in the same time, aspergillus have the ability to produce toxins, okay? These toxins are responsible of toxicosis, referred to as mycotoxicosis. But when I said aspergillosis, aspergillosis, it's any disease developed due to the uh, consumption of the agents, I mean aspergillus, causing the symptoms. But mycotoxicosis, due to the toxin of aspergillus, it's produced outside the body. Yeah, for example, apple, and the apple, spoiled. عفنت اوكي؟ بيش عفنت بالاسبرجلس مو شايفين هواي وهاي طبعا يسوي سبويل توميتو سبويل بوتيتو وير ايفر بانانا ايفن ابل وات ايفر اوكي؟ وين اتس سبويل ذا مايكرو اورجانيزم كولونايز ابل اند بروديوس توكسين انسايد ذا ابل وين يو كونسيوم ذيس ابل اي مين توكسيكيتد يو ديفلوب مايكرو توكسيكوزيس Okay, due to toxin, not due to the these pores. Therefore, there is um, a difference between mycotoxicosis and aspergillosis. Mafuma hai jumla mama lo. I'm doctor mafuma. Okay. Now we have uh, three forms of the disease. I mean aspergillosis. When I say disease, naam. Doctor, alafu mukti tadiya ma al aspergillosis mycotoxicosis. Mycotoxicosis. Okay, but it's not aspergillosis. Not aspergillosis. Okay. Aspergillus. Okay. Now, the, the what's the meaning of mycotoxicosis and uh, aspergillosis? Aspergillosis. You, when you consume the spores of the agent, you develop the disease referred to as aspergillosis. Later on, we will know the details. What are these diseases? Okay. But when you consume, for example, uh, uh, vegetation uh, fruits, spoiled one, decayed. Yeah. Now, what do you call decayed? Spoiled. Okay. These decayed one be colonized by the agent, and the agent produce toxin within this apple, for example. Okay, and you consume this apple, spoiled apple. You consume the toxin. This is the, the disease or symptoms due to the consumption of the toxin referred to all, referred to as mycotoxicosis, not referred to as aspergillosis. يعني disease يصير due to the agent نفسه. But the mycotoxicosis due to the toxin produced by the agent outside your body. Rawabha, Allah, Assalamu alaikum. Rawabha, Doctor, Ashidich. Thank you, Doctor.
Oh, I'm متأكدة أنت فهمت بس بي غيرك يجوز ما فهمها. Okay. Now the uh, <coughs> we have three forms of diseases. Three forms of diseases. I mean three forms of what? It's not only the mycotoxicosis. It's one of them. I mean it's entity different separated entity. We read the lecture complete. And the problem is we don't have enough time. I mean I have a lecture. I'm going to read the postgraduate about the mycotoxicosis because it's very important. And particularly for the moment, I'm going to leave it with you. I mean I'm not going to give you a lecture on mycotoxicosis. I have no time. The toxins, one of the most important top diseases caused by the toxin due to aspergillus is liver cirrhosis and cancer. I just for information for you. We're not really interested why with mycotoxicosis. We're interested with aspergillosis as disease. Okay. Now, what are these diseases caused by aspergillus? We have three diseases. The first one is allergic response to inhaled aspergillus. يعني individuals in health spores of the aspergillus developing allergy. Okay, this is first. Number two, these spores of the aspergillus colonize wherever any air space or in your body may be colonized by this agent. Okay, this is another disease, colonization. Or the third type of aspergillosis is tissue invasion. That means it's invasive. Invasion, invaded, okay? Colonization, only colonization without invasion. But the third one is invasion. Well, first one is allergic response. Three diseases of aspergillosis. Now, of course, from the name aspergillosis, that means it's caused by aspergillus. But aspergillus, of course, have many species. What are these most important? I cho chose only um, uh, just the three uh, important, uh, most common one. Three um, uh, only three species which are um, uh, very common and responsible of wide range of symptoms, starting with Aspergillus fumigatus from the name fumi, يعني ف fumi يعني موجود بالهواء تهوي بالهواء. Okay, Aspergillus fumigatus, which is responsible of invasive and non-invasive Aspergillosis. When I say non-invasive, yeah, that means allergic or colonization. This is first number two. Aspergillus flavus. Aspergillus flavus. This is mainly causing invasive aspergillosis, uh, and particularly in immune compromised patients. Also, it's responsible for nasal sinusitis. Yeah, and why a patient with the sinusitis may be suffering from aspergillosis. And the third type, which is the aspergillus niger. From the name niger, it's mean niger. Niger. What does it mean? Niger. Niger. Niger, niger, it means blackish in color. Those are negro. They call them negro. Those are the Afarika negro. They are not even the name negro. That means they are blackish. In, I mean, race means they are blackish. Niger, that means the colonies of this agent are black. Sporangium also black in color. Therefore, the name Aspergillus niger, which is responsible for invasive pulmonary aspergillosis. These are the most important species or etiological agents of aspergillosis. We turn to the clinical manifestation starting with the allergic type. You remember we said three types, allergic, colonization, and invasion. First type is the allergic pulmonary aspergillosis, which is referred to as ABPA. This is abbreviation or the abbreviation of the disease, allergic pul uh, uh, bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. Of course, the definition of the disease, it means the symptoms of the disease. What are the definition? I mean, what are the symptoms of the patient suffering from ABA, ABPA? Asthma, transient pulmonary infiltration, central bronchiectasis, immediate cutaneous hypersensitivity to aspergillus uh, antigen. That means um, uh, hypersensitivity, immediate cutaneous hypersensitivity. Patients uh, give it a positive uh, um, test. Also, the, the, the uh, uh, antibody uh, level of the aspergillus uh, will be elevated in the serum and give a precipitation, uh, precipitin test positive for this agent, I mean aspergillus, and also there is elevation of IgE and IgG to aspergillus antigen and also eosinophilia. Eosinophilia, of course, because the patient asthmatic, uh, allergy, allergic, as eosinophilia, we know, this is concomitant with the um, allergic response. This is the definition. These are the symptoms of ABPA. This is very important entity. You should never forget it. Maybe in future you face such entities of patients. Now, this is 
is very important طبعا هاي بالمستقبل very very important وايد اعلم لكم اياها بالتشيس اكس راي باكر اول اللي يصير راديوغرافيس وحتى اللي يصير عنده سبيشاليتي بالريسبيراتوري اوكي put it in your mind okay the characteristic feature of ABPA in chest x-ray it is referred to as شوفوا هاي رسمي هذا طبعا مرسوم طبعا هو shadow of this this appearance referred to as glove finger shadow glove finger shadow من شوف هيك picture but in any future you should say this patient suffering from ABPA طبعا هو محدديها تشبه الجلوف okay Glove finger shadow due to, طبعا, of course, due to what mucoid infection in central bronchiectasis. This is the characteristic feature of ADPA in chest X-ray. Now, number the second disease that the patient, uh, oh sorry, the, the, the uh, aspergillae uh, develop is fungal ball. Uh, fungal ball. When I said ball, because it's colonized, just look like ball. This is colonization. I speak here about colonization. Fungus bowl of paranasal sinuses. Where is the uh, colonization? In the paranasal sinuses. Of course, here uh, the, the fungal uh, saprophytes will colonize the sinal cavity without invasion because I'm speaking about the colonization without invasion. Okay. The, of course, the two important uh, species responsible for uh, sinusitis are Aspergillus fumigatus, Aspergillus flavus. Uh, and what are the symptoms the patients may develop? Of course, nasal congestion, paranasal dripping, paranasal dripping. I, uh, I think many patients, many, even students may be suffering from, okay? We suffering from sinusitis. sinusitis. paranasal sinusitis? البر... sorry dripping uh, sometimes من يصير عندك ال... uh, يصير blockage بالnasal cavity if you remember بالinfluenza for example تحس ال... the sputum ال... 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 sorry ال... ال... sorry ال... ال... secretion nasal secretion cannot be uh, go outside okay ف... we... you... you swallow it dripped تحس dripping يعني ينزل من جوا تبلع this is the... 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 the characteristic of sinusitis okay nasal congestion paranasal dripping intermittent intermittent this congestion or pain over the infected sinuses doctor invasive Now, the third disease is the endobronchial colonization. I'm still in the, yani, so, mucus colonization the sinuses. Where is Guinea? Where is, wherever, wherever there is cavity, there is colonization. It's endobronchial, cavitated, the endobronchial colonization. Also, this is maybe occurred, but where it's occurred, not all patients, of course, may be colonized easily. Those patients who have Uh, pre-existing damage in their lungs, uh, architecture, for example, those patients with cancer, with TB, uh, those patients with histoplasmosis, you remember histoplasmosis in the previous lecture, okay? Histoplasmosis or, or those patients with recurrent bacterial pneumonia also may be easily colonized. Their uh, bronchi easy colonized by aspergillus. That means it's super imposed, super imposed. And the CA and the TB and the superosmosis, the current pneumonia and bacterial pneumonia, this is the, those patients super imposed easily with uh, what colonized easily with aspergillus. Also, those patients with lung abscesses also may develop this phenomenon. Uh, the, the, uh, of course, but here the symptoms that belong The, this phenomena, it's not known. It's belong the pre-existent lung disease or belong the fungi. Till now, it's not known because there is concomitant infection, you know. Okay, what are these symptoms? Of course, cough, productive cough, and hemoptysis. The main symptoms that the patient, which is uh, which are of course not specific for any any disease. Now, the fourth disease is the is the fungal ball of the lung. Also, the the, the lung, lung, you know, uh, can cannot can easily colonize by the uh, lung. Okay, uh, sorry, but by the the, the saprophytes uh, fun, uh, fungi. Of course, those patients with uh, damage of the architecture of the lung is the um, uh, saprophyte by uh, uh, sorry colonized by the saprophyte. And of course, the with complications. The patient may develop fibrosis of the lung, which is associated with fatal, of course, hemoptysis. 
Death, of course, occurred in severe cases because of respiratory insufficiency, of course, or maybe superimposed with bacterial pneumonia. These are the predisposing factors for death. Here you can see this is a lung bowl. This is lung bowl, okay? This is the lung uh, bowl of the, which is a spray of patients suffering from a uh, lung bowl of the, um, uh, I see, uh, I mean, mean, of the lung. Now, hematogenous dissemination. <coughs> hematogenous dissemination, طبعا, نحن عندنا invasive, بس invasive لو انتو كميها هواية. طبعا, put in your mind that invasive also may be occurred in sinuses, invasive occurred in lung, okay, in any tissue. But here, uh, the most important entity of, uh, of uh, aspergillosis is also hematogenous disseminated aspergillosis. This is mainly, of course, occurred in immunocompromised patients or those patients who are IV drug addicts. Uh, the most important um, uh, diseases uh, uh, occur due to hematogenous inseeding, of course, it's inseed the, the eyeball, closing uh, endothermitis, or sudden monocular, so, you know, monocular, Monocular, not binoc binocular, okay? This is causing bo uh, monocular blindness. Yeah, so blindness just for one uh, uh, <coughs> eye, <coughs> for an um, unknown reason, of course. Uh, unknown reason, not the blindness, but why it's in fact just one eye, uh, it's not known, okay? Yeah, not uh, both eyes. Uh, or sudden causing monocular um, uh, blindness. Why does blindness occur? Because the ischemia, Ischemic optic neuropathy. Why ischemia occurred in, in, in case of um, here? Not about ischemia, I should later on, not just in, uh, in, in eyeball, in, even in the skin. Why ischemia occurred in, 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 in this disease? I mean, in, in this um, occurred associated with this agent because the high fee of this agent, you remember, I said it's moldy, not yeasty. Moldy, high fee. The high fee of this uh, agent easily invade the uh, blood vessels. When it's invade the blood vessels, causing what? Ischemia, blockage, okay? Causing ischemia. For one of these uh, ischemia, uh, uh, ischemic optic neuropathy. Also maybe causing cerebral fusciosis, causing cerebral infarction, 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 ischemia, cerebral, due to the uh, blockage of the blood vessels of the brain. Meningitis also occurs, but it's rare in comparison with the uh, cerebral infarction. Also, metastatic skin lesion also is causing metastatic skin lesion, which is look like eczema gangrenosum. Eczema gangrenosum is a disease caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Eczema gangrenosum is, is disease caused by bacteria, the bacteria Pseudogenus, uh, Pseudomonas, sorry, uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa. This disease, I mean this agent, aspergillus, causing symptoms of skin lesion look like eczema gangrenosum. That means erythematous macule with central infarction and infarction. Okay, carnishtam infarction, vinawai infarction, because the high P of this agent block the blood vessels, okay, invade the blood vessels and causing infarction. Also, maybe the disease, I mean the agent to reach from the blood, inceding the vertebrae causing vertebral osteomyelitis, which is so common disease, and also endocarditis. But here they found that endocarditis, when it's occurred, not it's a, 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 a sequel of events of hematogenous dissemination. No, they found that there are cases, many cases of endocarditis occurred after surgery, cardiac surgery, open chest, you know, and this is because maybe tools contaminated, the whole of the, 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 the surgery is contaminated, whatever uh, aeration in muscular aeration should be, uh, should be a sterile, uh, okay? Uh, well, this is not available in Iraq, available outside. There is uh, sterilization of the uh, air cooler or whatever, okay? A uh, filter of uh, sterilization, and particularly the, uh, the whole of surgery, uh, of operation and um, uh, maybe contamination occurred due to uh, 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 during uh, operation during cardiac surgery causing the endocarditis now this is eczema this is the uh, metastatic skin lesion you can see this infarction blackish area blackish area this is due to what this, this is due to cutaneous hematogenous inseeding the skin causing the central infarction of the skin due to a course disseminated aspergillosis. Now, how we can diagnose or, um, sorry, um, uh, differential diagnose this um, uh, disease? 
not you're not one of course disease many diseases from others when the <coughs> sorry clinical pictures are clinical uh, are a central sorry branchi uh, branchiectasis and pulmonary infiltrate due to mucoid impaction in asthmatic patients even when there is specific antibody absence okay there is possibility of abpa that means patients suffering from central bronchiectasis patients suffering in the same time suffering from infiltration of mucoid impaction of asthmatic patients and particularly when you can see in chest x-ray this glow finger appearance okay even the even so this is very important even when there is no specific uh, absence of antibody toward aspergillus you should put your in your mind that is, this is maybe APBA. Okay. now also the uh, distinction between ABPA and bacterial pneumonia because the mimicry of uh, ABPA and bacterial pneumonia or maybe fungal pneumonia is easy because of fever mucositosis and prostration in ABPA okay fever, mucositosis, and prostration in the ABPA. This is maybe uh, uh, discriminated from other uh, diseases. Doctor, I have a point of view. I mean, the other thing that can be confused with the X-ray. No, 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 no. I mean, he has a central central bronchial 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 واسمه اوكي واسمه وقلنا هذا بالاخص من شوف يشوفون الجلوف ابيرنس فينجرز اوكي ايفن ذير از يعني سويت اخذت بلاد سامبل وسويت الانتي باديز احنا مو قلنا قلنا الاليفيشن اي جي اي واي جي جي اف يو ريمبر قلنا شيء ايفن ابسنس اوف ذيس انتي باديز يو شود سسبكت اي بي بي اي نعم دكتور تمام <تصفيق> Now, invasive pulmonary aspergillosis in immunocompromised invasive pulmonary aspergillosis in immunocompromised uh, is difficult to distinguish from other acute pneumonia. The symptoms of invasive pulmonary aspergillosis look like the others, and particularly uh, uh, those when the other disease is not responding to antibiotics. For what's I will explanation. What is this is meaning? Okay. For example, patients suffering from Legionella. Nocardia infection, nocardia, if you remember nocardia in the first lecture, mycetoma, causing it is higher bacteria, okay, legionella, uh, nocardia, or those uh, resistant bacteria. If patients suffering from, for example, from legionella, methylene pulmonary symptoms, okay, or nocardia, uh, pulmonary symptoms, resistant bacteria, and you give an antibiotic, not responding. In such in such case, we're not responding with antibody. You should put in your mind this is aspergillae because of course a fungi needs a different entity of regimen of treatment. Okay, rather than those used for bacteria. This is a second or third. <clears throat> in case of invasive aspergillosis of nose, that means nose or uh, paranasal sinuses in immune compromised patients. This is must be distinguished from other causative agents that mean not only aspergillus causing uh, sinusitis maybe pseudomonas aeruginosa causing sinusitis maybe also another fungi late inshallah in the uh, lecture inshallah another fungi which is the mucormycosis this is very important and very dangerous disease mucormycosis and pseudomonas also causing sinusitis or nasal infection this is also maybe confused with invasive nasal uh, or invasive nasal sinusitis. Invasive aspergillosis of the orbits. Sometimes aspergillus, when it invades sinuses, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, colonization, not like you invasive, it's a little bit hard for you, okay? Just hints, okay? Invasive aspergillosis, when it <coughs> invades paranasal sinuses or, na or nasal area, okay, septa or whatever, you know sinuses just near to the orbit of eye. You know, okay. Sometimes it's reached the orbits, causing invasive or aspergillosis in the orbits. Okay, this is mimic another infection, another uh, causative agent, which is referred to as alternaria. Alternaria, it's another fungal disease, another fungal disease causing invasive infection of uh, invasive, sorry, uh, orbital infection. Now, in case of therapy, how we can treat aspergillosis? <coughs> Sorry, 
Of course, depending on the type uh, of disease, corticosteroid drug is beneficial, and particularly in persistent pulmonary infiltrate. In persistent pulmonary infiltrate is very important uh, uh, drug of choice. Biclomidazone, you, you know, biclomidazone have inhalation, have uh, cortisone. Uh, this is here; it's less beneficial from uh, uh, bronchial plugging down for asthma. What's the meaning of this sentence? Yeah, and that's mean biclomidazone. It's not beneficial in ADPA. It's used biclomidazone. We can use it for asthma only, just asthma patient and asthma, not due to uh, aspergillosis. The biclomidazone, now the sector push on the stuff with biclomidazone, or drug of choice in asthmatic patients. It's not uh, beneficial in, in ADPA, although it is cortisone, but it is not beneficial. Surgical drainage, <clears throat> sorry, uh, surgical drainage of sinuses is beneficial for paranasal sinus aspergillosis. But yeah, the muscular uh, surgical drainage, it's a return after a period of time, but it is still have a limitation of um, uh, benef beneficity. Now, treatment of underlying conditions, this is very important, you know. You remember I said, for example, patient and the colonization of paranasal sinuses, colonization or invasion of blood, of uh, sorry, lung. The, the, the patient, uh, this is occurred in those patients with pre-existent lung diseases. Of course, we should treat the pre-existent lung disease before treating aspergillosis. Because we, if we treat just aspergillosis, we're still suffering from the pre-existent lung diseases, of course, the patient's still suffering from, okay? It's a fact, it's a truth. Now, surgery is important where? In aspergillosis of paranasal sinusitis, and for is those patients with prosthetic cardiac valves and causing uh, aspergillosis, of course, in lumbar discs with aspergillosis, of course, and also uh, any any uh, and, and, and uh, selected the cases of localized selected cases of localized pneumonia due to aspergillosis surgery beneficial in such entities. In case of lab diagnosis, of course, just look like the previous. We have direct and indirect. Of course, in case of direct microscopical examination, here we can uh, use, of course, depending on the sample, on the disease, of course, specimen that obtains sputum, bronchial wash, bronchial lavage, uh, blood, um, depend, okay? Here we can take drop of the specimen, put it on a slide. Of course, with cover slip, we can see the branching hairline, a uh, hyphae with the spores, hyphae. Uh, spores and sporangium. We sometimes, if it, we have thick sputum, this should be digested with 10% KOH and uh, mixed with ink, India, uh, with ink, sorry, Parker ink, just for visualization, just look like a stain. And uh, biopsy sometimes needed, um, uh, sometimes, okay, in a small piece of the, uh, if it is subcutaneous or whatever, okay, we can put it on a slide, 10% of course, uh, with 10% KOH and ink, uh, dissect this small piece of biopsy, dissected with needle on a slide and flattened, okay, and then covered with a slip and examined under the microscope. Of course, the samples can be cultivated in case this is direct, in case of indirect cultivated on Sabra Sagar, or sometimes we can use another media, which is referred to as mold extract agar. Of course, very important to put in your mind incorporation of antibiotic to prevent the growth of undesirable contaminated bacteria. The, the, of course, the temperature that the microorganism can tolerate is ranging between 30 to 37 degrees centigrade, which is higher than the previous one. Of course, the period of time is shorter than blastomyces. If you remember, we said uh, three up to four weeks here, just uh, two days up to three days. It's enough for the growth of aspergillus. This is a high fee. This is high fee of the cool, this high fee within tissue. This is the this is cytological preparation. High fee and spores of, uh, of the of the aspergillus. This is a high fee. This is sporangium. These are the spores. This is not uh, clear enough. I think there are many other. This is another high fee. This is sporangium. Uh, sporangium. If you remember, I said sp aspergillus niger. Niger because this is blackish. This is a black. Black sporangium and the spores of the uh, agents. These are high fee within the tissue. High fee, multiple high fee within the tissue. Okay. 
of patients. This is um, this is small hyphae. This is uh, it's used professional individuals to characterize. This is typical. This is the typical picture of aspergillus. You can see this is sporangiophore. It's a sporangiophore. يعني حامل لسبورانجيام. I sporangiam الألبة. So this is surrounded by spores. These are the spores. Sporangiam. For um, sporangiophore, and these are the hyphae. The, this is the dangerous one. Of course, will spores yet dangerous also because it's inhaled, acquired by the patients, causing the symptoms inside the body. Turn to this form: hyphae, spores, whatever. Okay. This is another hyphae within the tissue. Okay, that and that's it. All this is all the picture. The, the sorry, the lecture. Any questions, students? Shukran, doctor. شكرا دكتورة. عفوا بس طلاب باي ذا واي انتم شفتوا طبعا هي الانستركشنز جايتنا انه عندكم اسئله دكتور فادي يمكن خلى لكم انا قلت خلي اطرح عليكم الفكره اف يو نيد انا عندي دائما ربع ساعه اذا تبقى و10 دقائق فاف يو هاف اني كويشن ان ذا ان ذا سيم بريفير اي بريفير يعني ليش اخلي لكم ساعه وساعه وربع وانتم ما عندكم وقت وجوزاني ما عندي وقت فانتوا اذا عندكم سؤال اسالوني اوكي او او يو اف اف يو بريفير يعني اي اي سبيشاليز فد اور وات ايفر اوكي فد بوقت اخر فور ديسكشن يو بريفير ذس اور ذات انا ما اعرف احب يا ريت انت مرتضى دائما يعني احسك موجود والله يحفظك وان شاء الله موفق دائما شكرا دكتور الله يخليك يا ريت تسوي ديلينج وذ اذرز وتتناقشون تحبون هاي الفكره تحبون ما عندي اني يعني اشكال اخصص لكم وتريدون ديسكشن يعني شلون دكتور فادي يا جدنا انستركشنز فهي اب تو اب تو تو اس اند اب تو اس مي اند يو فانتم شو تحبون اوكي دكتوره تمام شوف الطلاب شو ردش خبر اخ عاشت لكم اوكي هلا باي باي دكتوره ازهر عيني عيني دكتوره يعني هاي هي المايكروج هي بسرعه عامه يعني هاي مثلا الديزيز ولا صوتك صوتك مو صوتك شويه علي صوتك بعيد ايه دكتور هاي الماكروج بصورة عامة يعني هاي الديزيز وهاي البروكريشن مالتها دكتورة مو يعني شوية معقدة لو هي مادة هيك يعني مثلا هي المشكلة يعني المايكولوجي امي حقول لك شغلة المايكولوجي اصعب مادة يشوفوها الطلاب كل الصعبة يعني انا يعني عندي البوست جراديويت تتخيل حتى يوقعون بيها لانه هي مادة صعبة لان انتم ما ماخذين ما الباك جراوند مالتكم قليل يعني البكتيريا مثل ماخذيها بالسادس انتم اوكي يعني دكتور في انفورميشن اباوت فانجاي هي الماده صعبه ما مو تشوفوها ان شاء الله بعدين تاخذون بالانترنال ميديسن بالمستقبل بالدرماتولوجي بالاخص بالدرماتولوجي تشوفون هواي الكيسات فهي ماده أوه. صعبه انا طبعا منطقتكم ترى السمبلس وان صدقني ما انا اختارت لكم السمبلس وحتى انفيزف اليوم منطقتكم اياها لان قلت ما اريد اصير هيوج عليكم اي دكتور يعني شوي مثلا الكورس مال الديزيز وهاي تكون بها مزعجه يعني دكتوره كل واحد شكل يعني ماكو شيء مثلا محدد او مثلا شيء نمشي عليه طبعا هي مو هي هاي المشكله هي هاي الماده بس انا بحكي لكم اياها ان ديتالز يعني وقلت لكم اي تشوزنج جاست ذا سمبلست وان تشوزنج اونلي ذا سم لو انتم تقروها يوم بيوم واي ثينك يو كان 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 كنترول ات يعني مو فد شيء صعب ان شاء الله يعني اصور ما اعرف يعني لعد المدسن من تاخذون المدسن والامراض والهاي يعني هي ترى يعني هناك مثلا من ناخذ مثلا حتى لو كورس مال ديزيز ممكن يعني مثلا اكو اشياء مثلا محدده هي نمشي عليها يعني مثلا واضحه يعني اللي هام مثلا يعني يعني شنو تمشي عليها؟ يعني ما تفهم شنو تمشي عليها؟ دكتورة يعني قصدي ممكن مثلا يعني اكو اشياء احنا نفهمها مثلا حتى البكتيريا مثلا عن طريق التوكسينز والسبسيز وهاي ممكن يعني هسه من المايكولوجي هو اي هاي المايكولوجي صعب هو المشكلة وهسه العالم كلش مهتم به يعني صار فوق التقريب اكثر من 60 70 سنة هسه الاورينتيشن يعني البكتيريا خلينا نقول مكانك راوح بس الاورينتيشن كله على الفانجل ديزيزز كله لانه دا يصير ديث كلش ريت انا اتمنى احكي لكم فيس تو فيس الكيسات وكيس ريبورت سجلناها احنا الحمد لله والشكر وش قد سوينا بحوث ويعني فد شغلات نكتشف للاسف الشديد طبعا احنا بالعراق طبعا ما منطق حق المايكولوجي بس احنا كلش رير ننعد على الاصابع اللي اختصاصنا هذا فاحنا نحاول ان شاء الله ويا ما نقلنا ارواح والله يا مو قدام سوينا كيس ريبورتات يعني ما معروفه كانت ما عرفوا ودقنزوها ودقنزناها ونعطيناهم تريتمنت بفضل الله سبحانه وتعالى والحمد لله والشكر نعتمد على الطاقه الناجحه باكر عفوا ان شاء الله ان شاء الله نعم اي دكتور اقول لك شعور من المتفق احنا ويا الطلاب واذا ردنا نسوي مثلا محاضره مناقشه ويعني ويا المحاضره هذه اقعد ارد لك خبر ان شاء الله. اي اي سووا لي تريد يعني عن طريق الممثل اللي عند الفايبر مالتي عنده وتريدون على الكلاس روم لا اي اي بريفير عن طريق الممثل لانه مو دائما انا افتح الكلاس روم من عندي انا فد شغله. ان شاء الله دكتوره.
يلا ان شاء الله بالتوفيق سلام باي باي